succeeding generations of Mexican families, known as Californios, had ruled the land for years, leaving on it the deep imprint of their own culture and society. It was a very close-knit, very unified, culturally conservative society, very, very tradition-bound, very secure in that sense, culturally. Mariana Vallejo was the most famous of the Californios. He was very exceptional, a man of amazing ability. He wrote a history of California of many volumes. He had 66,000 acres. He was very, very wealthy, very, very powerful. He greeted the Americans with open arms when they first came because it was promised that Mexican land claims would be respected. Um, and so he had no, he, he was very optimistic. For Vallejo, a California in American hands held out the promise of an even grander future. When we join our futures to her, we shall not become subjects, but fellow citizens, possessing all the rights of the people of the United States. We shall have a stable government and just laws. California will grow strong and flourish, and her people will be prosperous, happy, and free. Look not, therefore, with jealousy upon the hearty pioneers who scale our mountains and cultivate our unoccupied plains, but rather welcome them as brothers who come to share with us a common destiny. The Americans were arriving with the idea that they had rights to homestead. The Californios were totally shocked because all kinds of people were just coming and building houses on their land. They were just sweating with greed, let's say, and, not, and would stop at nothing. Very quickly after the gold rush, after a few years, the Californios realized that their language and their land and their culture, that the days were numbered.